be kind of fun if I asked Dan to make me a little build challenge to try in The Sims, and then I very quickly realized that that was a big mistake. I don't really know what I was expecting out of this, but I certainly wasn't expecting him to use so many diagonal walls. So this is what we've got to work with. This is the shell that he made for us, and this is just a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be. I asked him to make me a shell challenge, which basically just means he makes the shell of a building, and then we have to turn it into a real build. The rules are pretty simple. We can do pretty much anything. I can rotate it, I can put it onto a bigger lot, I can add interior walls. I just can't change any of these existing exterior ones. So all of the walls that are here right now have to stay. That's why it's called a shell challenge, because we have to keep the shell of the build the same. So looking at this right now, my immediate reaction is, oh my god, how am I gonna put a roof on this? And also, like, where's the front door gonna go? I just, I don't really know what to do about this, and I think I might start by trying to do the roof. And then we'll go from there. I don't really even know what style I want it to be, but I think we can figure that out once I've got the roof sorted. At least it's only one story, because if this were two stories, it'd be even worse. I think I'm gonna try and make a little front porch right here. I guess I'll put the door in this diagonal section. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe not. Okay, wait, what happens if we put a roof piece here so I can try and like connect all of this up? Cause, oh my God, why does it have to be a diagonal? Oh, this is gonna be so difficult. This part right here is not too bad. Like this is kind of cute, honestly, this little section. It's just this weird triangle that I'm struggling with. Oh, okay, that's really strange the way that this looks. I'm not really sure about that, but we'll see. I hope Dan feels bad about what he's done. There's just so much going on, and I mean that in the absolute worst way. <laughs> There's just so much. Oh my god, I went to Manage Worlds by accident. I keep pressing a hotkey on my keyboard that goes to Manage Worlds. Maybe I should just stay here and not build. It might be easier that way. Okay, how about this instead? Because this might look a little bit better on the front, and then this way we have an actual front porch. Oh no, wait a minute. You can't have a front porch like this because you you can't have diagonal stairs. <laughs> oh my god, I finally figured it out and it's not gonna work. Okay, never mind. Delete that. Delete that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, the front porch is going right here. <laughs> We're gonna have a little front porch that's just nice and small like this. We aren't allowed to add exterior walls, but we are allowed to add half walls. So if I wanted to, I could put a chimney, but I guess this house is small enough that we could probably put an actual chimney, <laughs> like one of the regular game ones, instead of making some weird fake thing. What if we made it into like a little cottage sort of situation. My first thought was the thatched roof, but that's kind of ugly. <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't do that. Gonna need a roof in the back too. I kind of forgot about that part. Sorry, everybody. And then maybe like a little porch back there too, cause that helps with it looking so weird. Oh my God. <laughs> and then on the inside, okay. Um, <sighs> I don't know where to put the bedrooms and stuff. I think we would benefit greatly from having the kitchen be in a place that does not have any diagonals because kitchens are so annoying in diagonals. So I'm wondering if maybe this becomes the kitchen. We have a big bedroom here a little bathroom in this weird corner space. There could probably be like a desk nook or something in this section. And then this is the living room. Let me just put some furniture down so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about because it's hard to visualize with stuff like this. No, obviously this furniture is not gonna stay, okay? Just to be clear. <laughs> this is more just like a example. I have no idea where the bed should go. Maybe the bed could go like right here and we could get a nightstand next to it. I don't know. This might be kind of interesting, but this is sort of the layout that I'm envisioning. This might change once I- oh god, <laughs> sorry. I wish I could delete the whole house like that. But this might change once I put actual furniture in. It's just kind of a good starting point for us. I'm so sorry for painting this blue. I'm so sorry. I know, I know that all my houses are blue. It's just such a cute color and there's not that many paint swatches. Like I'm not gonna make it red, am I? That's ugly. The pink is too light. I use the yellow too much too. Just give me a second, okay? I swear the blue is gonna look good. You're gonna think it's nice and you'll be like, wow, Lil Simsy, you should always use blue. <laughs> I always use blue anyway. Anyway, I know, I'm sorry. Just give me a second, okay? I swear I'm gonna make it look good. Why can I never figure out what color column to use? Okay, let's put these columns in the corners like this. How do I say this? This is looking a little bit ugly. Maybe I should move it. If I put it in Chestnut Ridge, this is the horse ranch world. Oh my God, it's so small and it's not cute at all. <laughs> This is a disaster. No, no, it's fine. Just hold on. <laughs> Give me a second, okay? I'm gonna make it work, I promise. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I could use the white columns with this. We make the whole thing like white, brown, and blue. We'll mix some colors and some wood textures and the stone. This is the roof from Snowy Escape. That doesn't look very good, does it? This is my favorite roof. <sighs> 
this is fine. It's gonna be fine. If I put a bunch of nice shutters and stuff with those windows, does that tie the color scheme in? Or does it still look terrible? Oh God, I'm really regretting this. <laughs> I never should have let Dan make me a shell. I don't know what I was thinking. At least we can get some big windows. The windows do look good from the inside and look at the view outside of them. Like at least there's that, you know, it's not all bad. <laughs> it's not good, but it's not all bad either. Oh, maybe I should make this living room bigger because the bedroom is, is this big enough to be functional? We'll come back to that. Let's start thinking about the floor plan and the actual furnishings. I'm thinking that I might use a little kitchen island because I think that looks so pretty. We can get the nice end piece too because it's got like some interesting shelves on it and stuff. I need to squeeze a tiny little door right here so they can actually access the patio. This door is definitely not meant to be a back door. It's got like a mail slot on it, but it's so cute. So I kind of want to use it anyway. <laughs> and I just got done talking about how I wanted this part to be a desk nook, but also what if I put like a little hutch there? Oh, this is pretty. The desk from Horse Ranch is kind of like, it's kind of grimy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. I don't know if I want to use that. Maybe I still can. But also this hutch might be a little bit easier and more realistic. There's enough space in this living room that I could probably fit a desk. The red on those chairs is really screaming farmhouse. I kind of love that. And then maybe we could try to use something like this wallpaper. This is from the new stuff pack, that like kitchen stuff pack, but it's so good. Okay, so in this bedroom, this is kind of what I'm thinking for the layout. I think I want to put a desk with a computer over on this side. It's just a lot easier to play The Sims when you've got a computer. It's kind of hard to do it without one. I'm going around putting all this horse ranch furniture like everywhere. I'm basically only using horse ranch in this house. It's just good. Horse Ranch has like all the things that we need. Well, aside from a fireplace that fits. Okay, never mind. Probably use this little one. We've even got like a wooden bathtub that we can use. Oh my god, should I put a piano? <gasps> Wait. That might be too big. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna fit. I'm gonna try, but I I don't know if that's gonna work out in the end. Oh, I love this little pan thing. Ew. Okay, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't know what color to use. Maybe the light one. That works. So here's what I'm thinking for this bedroom layout. I realize that this is a bit much, okay? I'm kind of just trying to figure out what fits together best. I kind of love the cow print chair, so I want to keep that. There's a lot of just random furniture in here, but I'm kind of trying to make it look like someone actually lives here. I'm thinking that this cats and dogs rug might fit really well under the bed, like kind of in this diagonal space. It just only comes in a couple colors, and I don't love them, but this one might be okay. And then I'd like to get get some clutter and like decor on this nightstand. This house is quite small, so we don't have a lot of space to make it look good. So we've got to do all these little things. Okay, I put some books and some candles on this little table. We've got a light there. I think that this bedroom might be good. We don't have a lot of wallpaper options, so I'm not really sure what's best to use. I kind of like the horse ranch paneling one, but even then it's kind of bland. This is a lot, especially with the cow print. So maybe not that either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that won't work. Eh, for now, I think I'm gonna stick to the plain white. Let's just leave it there. I am overthinking a lot about this. It really does not matter that much, Kayla. <laughs> you need to calm down. Should we get a big TV or is that weird to block the windows with? It would be nice to have a big TV, but it also might be better to have a smaller one just so it's like less in the way. Oh, I can fit the piano. It kind of works right here still. It's a little tight, but they could technically still walk through there. Got my cow plant skull. I got this lovely picture here on the wall. Um, actually that's probably a little bit too tight because there's not really a lot of room to walk right here, but that's fine. They'll be okay. They'll get over it. I'll get some umbrellas. I'll get a coat rack. Just a couple little things to make it an actual entryway because otherwise there's not really a lot defining it. And I'll probably get a fancy bookshelf right here too. I'm kind of trying to mix and match the white stuff with also wood stuff. I don't know if it looks bad, but that's sort of what I was going for. All right, so here's sort of what I'm thinking for the living room and entry layout. We've got this part in the kitchen and hallway. I do need to add a couple more clutter things. Oh, I need to put a trash can. I always forget trash cans. I won't forget this time, I promise. There, okay. Functional, the house is functional. I think I'm gonna put the shower in this little corner right here. And then I'll put the tub kind of underneath this window maybe. Oh, there's not a lot of space. <laughs> this is a lot smaller than I thought it was, honestly. Okay, I'll put this cabinet next to the door. The sink goes there and then the toilet can go underneath this little window maybe. All right, so here's what I've got in the bathroom. It's very simple. Last, we just need to get some wallpaper in the rest of this room because I have not painted the walls in here yet. And then we have to figure out the entire exterior because I haven't touched that at all. Okay, let's start getting serious about the exterior. I might even switch the lot it's on again because I'm not really obsessed with this one. Do you think it's too big for this 20 by 20 lot or will it fit here? This 20 by 20 lot is covered in sand, which is not my favorite thing, but it's okay. Oh, it fits. Oh, oh. 
No, this is better. This one actually fits it better. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now about this. I think I'm gonna try and put a slight fence around the backyard. The only problem is that it's got these weird diagonals. So the fence ends in these really kind of ugly corners. I guess I could put it over one. And that might be a little better. Yeah, okay. That's another strike for Dan, giving us a very silly shell shape. <laughs> it just looks weird. I don't know how to landscape in these weird areas. It's such a weird shape. I think we need to do some debug stuff. There's a lot of debug landscaping from Horse Ranch, which will probably look good here. I'm trying to put these giant bushes in those weird corners, because otherwise, what else are you gonna put back there? So I'm kind of just trying to fill them up with bushes. And then I guess I'll put some trees and stuff in too to like help cover everything. And I am obsessed with these little yellow flowers. So I think I'm gonna use those around a lot on the outside. All right, let's try it like this and see how it's looking because I think that the colors are good. I realized that I built this in the horse ranch world, but I don't think I'm gonna add any horses. <laughs> I think I might just put some farm stuff back here. So we've got a little garden section back here on the corner. I might try and get a little bit of extra terrain paint too because it's not looking very good. I hate how this terrain paint is like the wrong color grass. Maybe I'm being being dramatic about that, but they keep adding these like different grass textures and then all of the other terrain paints don't match them. Like this one is obviously very bright green compared to this sort of yellowy toned grass. I'm gonna try and cover it up with a table though. So hopefully you can see a bit less and maybe I'll get a grill too. And then maybe that's the house finished. I don't know, this has been a journey. Oh wait, I forgot about getting a pathway to the front. There we go, little dirt path, mailbox. And then maybe if we're feeling fancy, a couple extra planter boxes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think that is the house finish. And this really has been a journey. This was not fun. Thanks, Dan, for making my life miserable. Uh, this was actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. But we managed to make it work somehow. And it's, I think it's kind of an interesting shape. There's definitely some parts that I wish I could change. But in the end, I think I managed to get something decent out of it. If you want to try this little mini shell for yourself, I will put it on the gallery. Don't feel obligated to do that. I'm not going to like make a tour video or anything. It's more just for fun. But I personally would not encourage you to allow Dan to ruin your day too. Just leave it. Don't let him do that to you. And if you liked this video, I do a lot of Sims build stuff here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my goodness. This took me so much longer than I thought it was going to. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, to be honest.